I picked out 15 of my top best features for GTA 6 that hyped me the most and put them all together in this video. As a GTA veteran of over 20 years, if these features got me excited then I think they'll get you excited as well. GTA 6 is going to feature a parody of WhatsApp and social media websites called WhatsApp. With this system you'll be able to interact with characters and organise your next move on the fly and potentially be able to quickly text a wide range of dynamic messages to each person instead of the old style of calling which I think is amazing because as it speeds up the process of the character interactions. Building muscle. That's right, the feature everybody loved from GTA San Andreas that's arguably one of the best choices Rockstar games have ever made. Looks like it's actually going to be coming back to GTA 6 and it was amazing to be able to watch CJ going from being like skinny to ripped and it's insane how it's been 20 years since that feature debuted in a GTA game and it's never returned since. So I'm actually really really excited about building muscle coming back and gyms in GTA 6. GTA 6 will have the widest, most insane range of random events and side missions we've ever seen in a GTA game before. All those beloved scripted events and easter eggs from GTA 5 and other titles are now going to be returning and making the world feel more alive and exciting. And the residents of Vice City are going to be no doubt crazy. I cannot wait to see what levels of parody we get to see coming this time around that tops like the Ultraist camp members in GTA 5 or even that really strange serial killer from GTA 4 called Eddie Lowe which was like a really creepy character. You'll be able to interact and pick up almost every item within the game world ranging from food, weapons, all the way to valuable items and ornaments and you'll be able to shoplift items from stores and even carry a duffel bag in order to stretch your inventory space even further. And I think in the leaks we also saw a really awesome feature that we've never had before similar to the Red Dead Redemption 2 horses where you can actually store items and weapons in the trunk of your vehicle. Cops in GTA 6 are going to be the most intense and smart we've ever seen for an AI in a Rockstar game. And I think Rockstar games actually recently patented or take two patented like this like revolutionary groundbreaking AI system. Police will now transition between cover and use walls to peek and take shots at you during combat and will set up a variety of new traps to catch you. You'll also be able to counter all of these by using a stolen police scanner and listening to the radio frequencies to avoid any potential cop traps and communications about whereabouts you are. It looks like property ownership is coming back to GTA 6 and it's rumoured to allow us to not only purchase a wide range of properties from caravans, motorhomes, mansions and yachts but also assets from GTA Vice City and San Andreas are all rumoured to be returning as well. Which means we can actually finally build up our criminal enterprise once again. I personally found this one of the best features that made GTA San Andreas and Vice City so good in the first place, watching your income rolling in. And because GTA 6 is set in a more modern world, it'll be nice to not actually have to visit those assets to collect that money and watch the pay slips rolling in every day or week or whatever, every month in game. In GTA 6 you'll now be able to carry bandages, health kits and and pills on the fly and apply them much like we did in Red Dead Redemption 2 in order to restore health, adrenaline and focus. And all of these items are sure to affect your character in game and probably give you unique buffs to your stats. Clothes will now have insane details. This includes getting sweat on them and dirt. In hot climates you're going to sweat and the clothes will get damp after intense movement all the way to rips and tears on them as you navigate your way through terrain like the Everglades and sharp thorns and bushes. In my opinion this sounds insane and I'm really excited to see this in action because clothing has incredibly realistic cloth movement physics applied to it. So this means flying down the highway on a motorbike or parachuting through the sky in a t-shirt is going to look amazing and the fabric is going to react realistically to the environment as well. Breaking into vehicles has been revolutionised from what we've previously seen in Grand Theft Auto and previous Rockstar titles. You can now get a vehicle immobiliser, a Slim Jim tool and even use police radios to check and any nearby patrol routes like we mentioned earlier. I'm super excited about this because it means that we're now going to have to actually have a level of planning to our next move and also I noticed that NPCs are able to report what last vehicle they saw you enter so you're going to have to think strategically about when you change vehicle as well. Something insane is that NPCs will now react to Jason and Lucia based on varieties uh, such as like how clean they are and their appearance and style of clothing. So if you emerge from a gunfight crawling with like 
like you know sweat and uh, other things shall we say uh, or you come out of the woods looking like some kind of homeless man NPCs will actually react to you and treat you differently so if Jason's wearing a tuxedo he's probably likely to be treated with more respect than he will if he wears you know his signature cap and vest there's gonna be a massive variety of scores and robberies that you can commit while free roaming in the game without being on a mission and this is the first time ever that we're gonna see this feature with such depth and design you can now rob antique stores small banks shops diners as well as a variety of other businesses all while off missions like Jason's new special ability by the looks of it allows him to basically see all the valuable items within the area and all the valuable items that you're going to be able to steal within you know certain shops and businesses and you can activate this from free roam so you don't have to be on a mission or a heist or you know a scripted event in order to do them GTA 6 is going to feature the beloved realism and its physics that we all enjoyed while playing GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2 GTA 5 took a big L on this but thankfully GTA 6 features a very realistic ragdolling system as well as dynamic weather clothing effects and all new never before seen water physics and it's just gonna be absolutely insane I've never seen water physics allegedly that are gonna be this good in a game ever I'm super happy that the physics are gonna be returning to that level of realism again the map for GTA 6 is gonna be huge with some comparisons based off the coordinates from the leak suggesting the map is gonna be double the size of GTA 5 or more the map will feature the Everglades vast swamp plans, insane underwater exploration that will host the endless easter eggs and hidden areas that Rockstar are bound to add, and even a parody of Kennedy's Space Station and Disneyland to name a few. Speaking of which, there's going to be a record level of interactions added to the game and the places that you can go to, such as theme parks, aquariums, mansions, police stations, food locations, the mall, military establishments, and a whole lot more. It's nice to hear this because GTA 5 took an insane L when it came to the M of enterable interiors in that game I was really really let down personally by the lack of interiors that we could actually enter and explore when it came to Los Santos and the surrounding areas you're gonna have to take disguises to a whole new level in GTA 6 because it's been spotted that CCTV cameras can actually record what's happening and may be used by the law enforcement in the local area at a later time to recognize you and put posters of you around the area certain NPCs and business owners will recognize you unless you use a mask and change the clothes that you wear prior or post the time when you rob the said store. Robbing stores at night time might even be a better decision. So far we have 18 brand new vehicles coming to the game spotted in the leaks alone that we've never seen before in a GTA game and those vehicles are on screen right here. Go ahead and pause the video if you want to view all of the vehicles and there's bound to be plenty more and I'm super excited about some of the vehicles on this list and the fact that there's 18 brand new vehicles spotted in the leaks alone just goes to show how many vehicles we can actually expect to see in GTA 6 in the final game. GTA 6 is likely to feature an easter egg that involves Tommy Vercetti or at least have the likes of Ray Liotta in the game. Massive tribute to that man because he was a voice of a generation and we have to remember the very first GTA protagonist ever to be voiced. He was seen leaving the Rockstar offices a few years ago, it could have been for the GTA trilogy or maybe this and also the GTA trilogy. But I want to dedicate this video today to Ray Liotta.